But his love kept us. His mercy kept us. And that is the reason why we can rejoice before him this morning. We pray that the Lord will continue to keep us and his love over us will not stop. Because I used to say, the Bible, and the Bible says, he will have mercy on whom he will have mercy on. He will have compassion on whosoever he will have compassion on. And I used to pray that prayer, the Father, let me enjoy your mercy. The Bible says you have mercy on those who are, you, you wish to show mercy. Definitely, the mercy is not for her. <laughs> yes, Jesus came and died for her. But the mercy, like according to that scripture, if you understand it better, he will have mercy on whom? He may not have mercy on whosoever he does not want to have mercy on. So I used to pray that, Father, may I enjoy your mercy, oh. Let me enjoy your mercy. I pray that we all will enjoy his mercies in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Still on our topic, we've been taking a topic for the past uh, few weeks now on demonic strategies to rob you of your destiny. If you remember, I was able to show us on the, the strategies of the devil to rob us of our destiny. I showed us what destiny was all about. The, the meaning of destiny. I showed us the reason why the enemy wants to rob us of our destiny. And if you can remember, we picked some points that we ourselves can rob, you know, can give the devil the chance to rob us of our destiny. Where we started from, I explained to us then that we should be careful not to use our own hand to rob ourselves of the, of the plan and the purpose for our life. Also, we talked on how we can uh, allow the enemy to rob us of our destiny by not taking good care of our parents. If you remember, we make mention of this uh, one of, in one of the topics that we should be careful. So we are taking this part this, uh, this morning because we've taken the earthly parents, we want to take the spiritual one. And I pray the Lord will grant unto us understanding in Jesus' name. So this one will be part three on demonic strategy to rob you of your destiny. I pray the Lord will grant unto us wisdom this morning in the name of Jesus. Let's take our anchor scripture from the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. We are going to read together. Let's have it on the screen. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. We are going to read together. Shall we please rise on our feet as we honor God's word this morning. Just a verse. And as we read, the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. One, two, three, and let's go. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Shall we read this one more time? Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Can you please, for one minute, give us verse 2, so that you will have the difference between the earthly parent and the spiritual parent. And the, no, uh, verse 2 says, let's read together. One, two, three, and let's go. Honor thy father and mother which is the first commandment with promise. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. We ask for the art of understanding this morning. The Lord will grant unto us all in Jesus' name. Now, we want to look at this scripture this morning under the same topic of demonic strategies to rob us of our destiny. What are we saying this morning? Because when I read this particular verse, the first thing that crossed my mind is that God wants us as believers to have spiritual parents. The same way we have the natural parents. God wants us to have the spiritual parents as we have the natural parents. And we want to treat this topic that says, who are our spiritual parents? What does it mean? Does it have any, re any meaning to us? And uh, for the enemy not to rob us of our destiny... Well, these are the things we should look out for. You know, when I was taking us on the, our earthly parent, which is the natural parent, those that gave birth to us, I showed us that day that there are some things uh, that is the command, there are some commandments attached to it then, which I said, number one, if you don't honor your parents, you will lack prosperity and your days will not be long. Because the Bible says if you honor them, you will, your days will be long. And you also, you have prosperity. <coughs> if you have prosperity and you don't have long life, what is the essence? And the same thing is applicable to the, to the spiritual parents. The Bible wants us to have the two. If you can read from that portion, Ephesians 6 from verse 1. 
I believe Paul Apostle will be able to see it, you know, to understand that we, if we must have progress in life, if we must fulfill the purpose of God for our life, if we must fulfill our destiny, I think the two is very much important. And that's the reason why the first one says, we should obey our parents in the Lord. And the second one says, obey your parents, your natural parents, your father and your mother, so that your days will be long. Now, let's look at this. Who had, uh, who had spiritual parents? Let's look at Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7. Hebrews 13, 7. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7. You can as well read from your Bible. Let's uh, have it on the screen, please. You have to be very fast. Hebrews 13, verse 7 says, Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow, considering the end of their conversation. Considering the end of their conversation. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, who are spiritual parents. They are those who, are, who did what? Who have spoken the word of God. Who is preaching the word of God to you? Whose faith you follow, considering of the end of their conversation. They are those that God put the burden of your spiritual development upon. Who are spiritual parents? They are those that God has put the burden of your spiritual development upon. Those who dig so deep in their relationship with, uh, relationship with God and on the deep things of God, so as to help you grow in the knowledge of the things of God. Now we've answered, who are the spiritual parents? I want us all to uh, begin to look at it from as I'm preaching this morning. That who are the spiritual parents we are talking about? They are those who preach the word of God to us. Who enlighten us about what the word of God says. Like we, as we, we've been treating on this particular topic on how the demons, the, demon, the devil can rob us of our destiny. Those who, who open your eyes to the understanding of the word of God. They are the spiritual parents. According to the word of God in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15, he said, For though ye have 10,000 instructors in Christ, 1 Corinthians 4, 15, For though ye have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers? Yes, we have so many people who are preaching to us. Yes, on Facebook. Yes, on Twitter. Yes, on, on Instagram. Yes, on uh, which other handles do we have? We have so many of it. Tiktos and also, we have so many of them all over. We have so many instructors. First Corinthians 4.15 says, For though we have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers. For in Christ I have begotten you through the gospel. You know, somebody will be, uh, will be asking a question. Okay, if, the, if, we, if we, it's not possible for me to listen to one person, when we, anytime I'm teaching on, online for pastor's wife or mentors, I kept telling them, you can have so many mentors, but you must have one. One that you can come closer to. You, are, you, you meet someone, firstly, ah, I love her preaching. I love the way she's preaching. Can you see her? Can she cancel you one-on-one? -on -one? Then, you need more than one. But you need one that can teach you. That can say, come, one be, one be, one 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 she she one she one she Oh, 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 you want to leave your husband? They don't do it like that. No, no, you don't, you don't, you don't take such step. I can remember one of our daughter, our son in the house came up and said, I wish to, I can walk and this and that. I said, no, that's not what I noticed that so, so, and so, so thing has been happening in your family. I'm not going to allow this. Go through this way. It was difficult. But he complied. And anytime I'm seeing some of his posts, I will just be laughing. Ah, thank you for so 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 person. Thank you for coming into my life. See, you can have so many instructors according to 1 Corinthians 4, 4 15. But you must have one. A father, a mother that must be able to call you to order and say, No, sit down walking, Shebe. With what I'm doing online. Yes. They have called me. She says, sit down. I want you to learn so so and so so thing on that aspect. I love your courage. Yes, I love your courage. But do you know, you can still do more better. Do it this way. Talk like this. Go toward this man. 
And it was just like a joke. And every other person now, they are trying to come online. She said to me one day, you have that passion. I can see. As you are quiet, I am quiet like you. You have conferred that from me, but you can do more. I am good in writing, but you can talk. You must have one. Someone who is pushing you. Someone who will tell you that, no, 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 Oh, you know, Yoruba will say, must, must it be from you? Must you be part of those who will first use the first money to eat? A father, a mother, parents that can call you to order. Even if your physical or natural parents should not be able to see this, your spiritual mother or father should be able to see and call you to order. Do you have one? The Bible says, obey them because this is right. For ye have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet ye, ye are, I mean, have ye not many fathers. You have many instructors in this world, but do what? But ye, um, but, but have ye not many fathers? Only what oh, poor. Ye, there are preachers. But do what? Ye, I mean, have ye not many fathers? For in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel. And in the book of Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15, Jeremiah 3 15 says, And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15. We are still trying to, I'm still trying to show you that you need them. It is written in the Bible. Somebody will say, I don't want to go to church because all pastors are, they have, they have shown me pepper. But I have not seen one. Yeah. I will say it with all my heart. I have not seen one who have shown me pepper. I sent a message on women group. I don't know whether you've seen it on the, on this on church group. They were looking for one sister. They look for her in this church. They say, ah, sister Lagbaja in our church. She's, oh, they say, ah, the angel Lagbaja, can you help me drop this gift for her? We've been looking for her. He said, ah, she left our church so, so, and so, so time. The angel said, eh. the first one did not disturb the angel. He was thinking maybe, maybe they did something wrong. Or maybe uh, she relocated, you know. Relocation at times make one to change church. She moved, the, I mean, the angel moved to her and he said, ah, maybe you should go further. I used to see her in so and so place. As weak woman be can think, would say, ah, maybe one relocate, Abby. Relocation, the journey is far. Let me look for a, a nearby church. Angel, to to the other side. Do you know that video was being sent by my mother in the Lord? She sent it to us. So as I saw it, I said, ah, God's power, evangelical mission, they need it. So I as the angel flew again, fro disappeared. He appeared in another church. They say, "Ah, please, oh angel, like, do you know this sister?" He say, "Ah, yes. He's a. Uh, they call her. They've given her Dickness. Dickness, like, but yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I know her. I know her. Please, can you help me drop this to her? I mean, for her." The angel said, "Ah, <laughs> she, she left. <laughs> She's no more with us here." Ah, the angel said, ah, <laughs> "You know, the angel was forced to talk." That say, ah, she's not here. What is wrong with this sister? But she, the angel did not talk much. He said, okay, maybe I should look for her. He said, hey, hey, there's one church very close. So, 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 maybe you should go and look for her there. The angel disappeared again. Flew to the other church again. And met another past, uh, angel. How far? Angel like, but yeah, do you know this sister? He said, ah, prophetess, can you come? He said, it's a prophetess in your church. Ah, ah, if I am the one, I will say, ah, evangelist, sister. Evangelist, oh, to, I mean, oh, to, to, I mean, Dick Ness in another church. She's a prophet here. Yeah. What is going on? That one I said, if I should see her, oh, Jehovah, I will flog her like, see how she's disturbing me, making me to be going. Now, so the angel disappear again. You know? Go appear in another church. Um, she, the angel met one, another one, eh, another angel. He says, I like in your church. He said, ah, yes. Uh, I, I can't remember what the angel called the name again. Only for her, for the angel to see her in front of a Catholic church. She drew the cross. She wants to pray. The angel did not first put the, 
the gift down. Look for a broom. <laughs> what do you want be sick, sick? And took it up and start flogging her. Take it here, my joke was typical. Yeah. You know? Then you say, they come by any because they come by go alone law. Because you believe that you have so many instructors. Can you see that whatsoever that is happening here now, it is written. It's only that we cannot read the word. If we know how to read the word, we will see that moving around is also in the Bible. Can you see what the Bible says? He said, Do ye have 10,000 instructors in Christ? You have so many people who are preaching online. You have so many pastors you are listening to anytime you open your Facebook. He said, But don't forget, not many fathers. You can have plenty, pair, uh, as a, plenty spiritual parents that you can listen to. You should have one that will be the center you can touch, you can feel. Somebody that can talk to you, you can cry her. There was a time I was having challenges. I don't need to go about telling anybody. I just went straight to my mentor. I cried and cried in her presence. I cried and cried. She now stood up. She held me in her hand and said, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. He said, do you know I've gone through what you are talking about? I've been there. By the time she started sharing her own, I was crying for her because her own is more than my own. She now said, so you are crying for me. Can you see that your own is no much? Now, this is how you should do it. Do it this way. Do it that way. Pass through, through this thing. And today I am free of those things. You have so many intro, instructors, 10,000 of them, but not many fathers, not many mothers. For in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel. And Jeremiah 3.15 says, <clears throat> And I will give you pastors according to my heart. Somebody that will direct you. Have you seen the one that God has given you? Because if not, you will still be moving around. You will be moving around. And they will be collecting money. They will be charging you. I have never in my life given any pastor money. and say, I've never done that in my life. They are your spiritual parents because they give birth to you daily by the word of God. See why Peter and the other disciples chose Jesus. In John chapter 6 verse 68, John 6 68 says, Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. They are your spiritual parents. They give birth to you daily. Through the word of God. The Lord said, I will give you pastor according to my heart. We shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Do you know the problem of this, this generation? If you should share something, oh, ah, they will use you to preach. Yes, she used it to preach. And today, she has healed so many of my, uh, my co-pastor's friends. And that's the reason why I can have confidence to go online. Several times. Now, the reason for her group, for pastor's wife, I am the reason. She told me one time, and said, because of you, I will, gather, I will gather pastor's wife. I need to talk to them. And as I'm talking to you, she canceled all the general ones. She said, only general overseers alone. So that's the reason why I can talk to pastors, women in ministry. Are you understanding what we are doing? She is for general overseers alone. She said, because what you went through, if we don't teach them, if some pastors will just be dying. And we have them, young, young ministers of God, 32, 4, 35, 40, pastor's wife dying because of depression. You know, some of us say, hey, because I told them they will use it. If they don't use it to preach, what will the doctor use to preach? Several times if I get to my doctor in those days, when, if I, anytime I'm pregnant, I say, mommy, yes, I have a case file with me. I don't know the person, but she will use the person to preach. To tell me that it is possible for you to come out of your the theater alive. But you don't want pastors to do that. And that's the reason why you can't stay in your church. You can't talk to them. You can't tell them. You'll be going to those who will just be making you. Because thou as the word of life. Peter and the others said that we can't go anywhere. Even let others be preaching. John the, uh, the Baptist is preaching. He's baptizing people who will not go we know that God is with him, but we know you are our father. Who is your father? Who are your spiritual parents? If you don't have any, then you are, you are in, in danger, in soup. Because you will just be moving on the journey that, that doesn't have end. 
there was a time I was praying. I've shared this once here before. And the person is always happy anytime she sees me. I say, thank you, mama. I was stupid there. She was having challenges in her marriage. There was no finance. And uh, she met someone. Anytime she's going around to sell her things, this person will always say, let me carry you. Let me carry. She has been telling me about the person. But I never, I never put my mind into it because I was thinking she's a child of God. One day she just, I don't know. The Holy Spirit just opened my eyes. I got a dream. Because it talked to me so much through dreams. I got a dream. I saw her. She was involved in an, you know, a kind of relationship with the, with the person. She's married with three children. So as I saw it in my dream, Friday stroke Saturday. Ah. So I stood there. I said, ah, Lagbaja. No. Maybe it was a baby because I'm thinking over it. I left it. On Saturday stroke Sunday, I got the same, re- the same revelation again about that same person. Ah. As I stood up, I went to go and come. I was, I said, I got this revelation, making the two times. He said, ah. I said, should I call her? Will she not feel, can I face her and tell her she's involved in, in uh, extramarital affairs? He said, ah. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether I should. <laughs> and uh, one thing about me, he knows, if, except if I'm not asked to do so. So, we finished the service that day, and I said, Lakbaja, please, let me see you. As she came up, I said, what are you doing presently? She looked at me. I said, yes. Who is that man in your life, apart from your husband? You are having a extramarital affair. If some of us will be angry, she started crying. Ah! Holy Spirit, I reveal it to you, mama. I said, yes. I saw it twice. Friday stroke Saturday. Saturday stroke Sunday. Kid me about phone. By the time she opened up, she said, she will become the fourth wife if she should go ahead with this relationship. As, we are, as I'm talking to you, we are in a deep relationship. I said, fourth wife, are you okay? She was crying, I was crying. I said, what kind of a person are you? And you were, you, you always in the church thinking you are a child of God. So you are no more. I was crying, she was crying. I said, no, oh, do you to me, go. I begin to talk to her. I begin to preach to her. This nonsense. The Lord loves you. That's the reason why he knows you are endangering yourself. You know, getting yourself into a problem. What? He said, in fact, they, they, they already show her to the three wives. I say, and you are, he said, there is money there. There is money involved. This and that. And I, you know, she, she wept. She confessed her sin. Tell me all the things they've done together. And uh, we pray about it. And I told her from today, can you see that you are precious in God's hand? She said, yeah. Now from today, let it stop. Go and tell the person that your pastor have seen the relationship. And it must stop. And that was the end of that relationship. Not so many of us will believe that. Me, me, so. Again, run am again, Mulami. Mulati, Oba, Koba. Boya, Koba, Sikuba. I'm talking about four, five years ago. Spiritually, they are looking, you know, at you. They are looking at where you are going. It says, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Your spiritual parents, they, 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 uh, be, uh, it says, they are your spiritual parents because they give birth to you daily by the word of God. You must realize this and you must work with it. Don't just live your life without having anyone to tell you that. Now, let's answer this question. Why are we talking, I mean, taking this teaching? Why are we taking this teaching this morning? Why are we taking this teaching? We'll be discussing about this because the society is gradually losing the understanding of these truths. The society is, is gradually losing the understanding of these truths and are now fighting against spiritual parenting. Believers no longer have regard for spiritual parenting. We now live in a time when everyone is posing to be a spiritual giant and are putting up the independent spirit, not wanting to be counseled in any way. 
because of those of us who are writing, I said, because the society is gradually losing the understanding of these truths and are now fighting against spiritual parenting. Believers no longer have regard for spiritual parenting because of what they are hearing on, online. Because they say, ah, they are eating your title. Me, I've never seen one, no. Me, I don't know how much they are counting, no. Ask those in the women department. <laughs> when it is time for children program, I don't cook on me. I don't get myself involved in all those. Because that's not my assignment. They are fighting believers. I mean, believers are fighting their parents now because they believe that, no, the spiritual parents, you know, everything they know is that they should take, your money, they should take money from you. So, at times online, we listen to live videos of those, I don't want to mention him, so that I will not give him or her popularity, cheap publicity. Ah, no, you don't follow the, until some, when some of the fathers in the land stood up and start fighting against him. We are, do you have marriage? Do you have this? What are the proof of what you are saying online? That was the when he stopped talking about them. And they told him, if you don't stop it, we will pray that God will kill you. Because I'm a great giant, begin to stood up. Is it because we are quiet? Christian, being a Christian, we, we are crying quiet because we want to be like Jesus. But don't forget that there are Peters behind Jesus. That's one thing I used to tell my husband, you may be quieter and, and be calm. I am not. I am not. To, to I will do it. Because I kept saying it. And over the years, he has understand that. Thank God for all those fathers in faith who stood up. Our father in the land, the great one, did not say anything. He was quiet. What the ambassador We no longer do what? Have regard for spiritual parenting. We now live in a time when everyone is posing to be a spiritual giant. Yes, I can pray. Momorio kiti ma log badura. Joki no ki ababo e kilo badi. Because you know, sometimes I just for for twenty years to the glory of God, I've been married at least. I have seen so many things. Have encountered so many things. Have seen those who have gone ahead run. Ah boy, kile wa mubo. I'll be asking my husband, Onda. And I used to say it, Ibi teba fi Jesusi. Ibe no le kpada ma ba. Koni move. You will see me God and Christ Jesus there. Why are you next? And I'm putting up the independent spirit, not wanting to be cancelled in any way. We see several people who portray themselves as believers. Behave anyhow, and there is nobody to call them to order. Nobody to call them to order that what you are doing, what you are saying online is wrong. Nobody because they believe that. I want more Mosha, more Madura, more more continue now. Hey, beloved, if there is a better time to take the issue of spiritual parenting serious, it is now because the devil knows that his time is short, so he's out with his agent to deceive several people. Out of the God-given destiny, especially believers, uh, 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 I mean, especially believers, and eventually take them to hellfire. He knows that his time is up, so he's after the believers. Normally, but when you're generally long, long, you know, I, I was telling my husband something yesterday. A pastor will come up and be talking about private parts. Niyoba, and one day I went through his page. I saw that he's a pastor, he's a G of a church. And so many people are behind him. They are in his church. And he's preaching. This is how a man will be sleeping with a woman on the pulpit. You will buy nothing, sir. I was not asking my husband. I said, Shan, when you're doubting me. Somebody is telling you, can you come? Can you come? What? I, I cannot even say it here. Talk less of saying it in the presence of my children. Somebody will now take my microphone and come online and be saying it. And people will be liking it. Some people will be sending messages. Yes, that's how they used to do it. 
and uh, he will come up. He may, he may, he may talk to people anyhow, wearing his uh, attire, regale, regale, or something. But thousands and millions of people like this video. People will be lying down. They will line up on, on his page. And I, and I was telling my husband, I said, she, oh, I want your good morning. What are they doing there? Can't they read Bible? Did Jesus speak concerning all this? She be Bible, Bobo Alani. Can't they study their Bible? It's because of the end time. And the devil is focusing on believers. So many don't go to church any longer. After the COVID, so many is online. One of my jewelry, she is a little bit of 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 a little bit he will have control his servant and stayed under Abraham. If you remember, Abraham said, Emu, oh yeah. They said the, his servants were there. We are fighting with the other servant. He now said, okay, pick one, your choice. It was the servant and Lot that picked the other side. At the end of the day, he looked at my daddy. He awoke on this pillar of salt. Independent spirit. I can do it on my own. I understand. I can pray. Momo long, Simon, sing. Mo ye me. Mo understand. And I keep asking, at the end of the day, what is the result? Now, let's go deeper. Why do you need to submit for spiritual parenting? Why do you need to submit for spiritual parenting? Number one, we need to submit for spiritual parenting in order to protect ourselves from falling into errors. We need to submit for spiritual parenting in order to protect ourselves from falling into error. Second Chronicles 24 from verse 1 to 2. Second Chronicles 24, 1 to 2 says, jo Johash was seven years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 40 years in Jerusalem. Let's have it on the screen, please. And he reigned 40 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Siba of Bathsheba. And Johash did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. All the days of Jehoiada, the prince. In, the, in, the, uh, in my tribe, okay, 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 sorry. The Joah and, and Joaz did what was right in the sight of the Lord all the days of Joada the priest. Because of what? Because he had somebody who can say to him, don't do it. Don't go towards that side. Why do we need to submit for spiritual parenting? In my tribe, we used to say that an elder see what an elder sees when, when sitting, you know, sitting in a sitting position. A younger person cannot see it. In contact, Baba Leri, Ninori Joko, Omake Keri Oleri, Toba, Kogungi, Arafa, Koleri. Why do we need spiritual parenting? We need spiritual parenting so for spiritual guidance. For spiritual guidance, believe, beloved, it is important we know that on this road that leads to fulfill, fulfilling divine purpose, one will miss several confusing junctions. And if care is not taken, can lead to the place of destruction. Imagine how someone like in Saul missed out of the purpose of God when he did not wait for the instruction of Prophet Samuel, his spiritual father, his spiritual teacher, just because the people were departing from him out of fear. And it is recorded severally in the word of God. We have Paul the apostle to keep dishing out instruction to his sons in faith. Why do we need spiritual parenting? We need spiritual parenting for spiritual guidance. So that they can tell you you don't go that way. My Lord, not to fail on you. Or not buy I became pregnant the third time. And I was actually inside my heart. I've made up my mind on. This is how the journey will be. I will try again. Only for us to get to my mentor and we, we discuss with I said, no. Eh? What are you saying? Yeah? Igbo? You want to try waiting? How many months? I told them. Some of us will not even say it. Yeah. I'm telling you. Something happened recently. And I was telling my husband. I said, one turn around. One more one. Timothy, oh, oh, you should come back. Me, 
Me, Kuku Monko, no, Kuku Monko, I can't tell me, Kwe Kwe, when he told me. And I told my husband, I said, Susan, so person is pregnant. He said, ah, he, yeah. So when I met the person, <laughs> recently, I came back, I told my husband, I said, she me was off me. So some so person called me and explained this to me. He now said, ha, hey, mungu ba mi, awa ma gwe kwa mo. O nyu te o, a shiri ti obo. Ah, wong, ema je kongba. Ema je kongba kwa fi shikini kwa, mama reni. Koma je kongba, koma, yifun ki, di recent one, don't she she, o jot nanti implan ye mo ti bo. And I told my husband, so some so person, they are having, he said, hey, hey, mungu ye, one ton ran wong. You think we don't know, we know. A kon di sa ile nun jometa, hmm. We walked away. But spiritual parenting, it has meaning and is of high value. And at times we just laugh. We just, I will look at him. Mm. Because I know my husband. At times he may come and say, "Kini to more nonsense." And got that team up. Emma, someone long will take egg boy. Eh, you know she be a quite egg boy now. But don't be, don't be surprised. Everything, everything, something somehow will come around. I'm a boy. I want me to jawa marry him. I want be marry him. I want to marry him. But it's none of our business. If you don't want us to know, we won't even poke nose. Nowadays, that's our new style, so that we can allow the church to grow. We, we, he cares so much. He always wants to, ah, eh, ah, look at your mama, shubo, te me do mama, chabo, oh, my thing, lo, oh, my thing, over here, they now say, kilo, kon, wawa, kon, ma, pognos, and I told him, leave them too. Te kon, shi, en, kon, ton, fe, shi, ton, ba, ti, shi, ton, ba, te, wano, no, eh, to, ba, fe, so, na, wa, so. But see, out of, eh, ah, ah, pro, ah, professor, man, is delayed. So, we, shi, ti, wano, be, he went there and God said, and God said, because you have done that, you cannot wait for my servant. You won't last on that place. I've seen a replacement. May the Lord not replace us in Jesus' name. <coughs> it is important you know that the devil will not always come against you as a warrior. Because he knows you will be battle ready. Imagine how many times he came against Samson. <coughs> Using the Philistine army. But when he saw that Samson was always battle ready, he changed his strategy from warrior style to trick style. He changed his strategy He built his plan around what Samson loved and he got him easily. You need counsel. Open up. You need to submit for spiritual parenting so as to be able to do what? To be able to discover the tricks of the enemy. In Proverbs chapter 1, verse 25 to 26. You ignore my advice and rejected the correction I offered. So I will laugh when you are in trouble and I will mock you when the disaster overtake you. May it not be our portion in Jesus' name. We laugh. And at times when some things come up, I would just, I would tell my husband, hey, where you I should be in cotton shell. My, my mother in the law will always tell, tell me something. He said, eh, yeah. That's what she normally calls me. He said, yeah, money. <laughs> Honey, see, you see members, eh? For what we have been doing for some years now, we understand them. You see, I'm gentle. It is the member that makes me to be over. I am now over. I'm a gentle person before, but I'm now over gentle. So I now say, ah, why, mommy? Oh, oh now I'm not mute here, no me. I'm from not tear no me. And I'm teaching bishop gradually. So there are some things we don't even. I take back with information, but we now do as if we did not see them. Why do we need spiritual parenting, number two? Because of our time. We need to submit for spiritual parenting because of covering. The spiritual covering is a deep issue that requires deep understanding. We need to submit for spiritual parenting because of covering. Spiritual covering is a deep issue that requires deep understanding. 
Spiritual covering is when you enjoy certain spiritual and physical privilege because of the covenant God has with your spiritual parents. My mother in the uh, my mother in uh, in law of blessed memory, when I was pregnant of my son, after we've scheduled a time, my mentor have told us this is how we we'll do it. Go and fix a time, and we we did that. She started disturbing. How I wish she can come there. Let's arrange this. Let's do that and that. Me, I did not say anything. They were disturbing their son, but my spiritual mother said, "Don't do it. Don't live where your husband is." So I said. Mommy, I get away one. And my husband, if mommy should call, <laughs> I say, my man, you can wear that one. But my husband, let it be by kilo shell, kilo loss of one. And me, I don't use to report him. I say, but you, she needs your attention. So when when he got there, my mother in the law said, okay, you know what, pastor, let her be where you are. If anything happens, you people are just coming up, young couple. Don't let anybody. Cause distraction or division between you. Let us stay here with you. Get into a spiritual place where your spiritual antenna and the person antenna will be able to cover her. You know that first one, it, she required blood. Second one, required blood. This third one must not require blood. We will be together. And truly, my first CS was, I came out with 17%. The second one was also with 17%. You should understand what 17% means. I went through it. And she said it must not happen. And do you know? This third one, we were together. When we were going, I told her, we were having program. So, 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 he said, go ahead. I got it. The spiritual covering is not all about. Ah, ah. No. No. Moshe one be physically, one one be spiritually. And we were together. What did my daddy? I don't know what we, they were doing. I was even asking the doctor. The doctor said, I opened my eyes. Ah, are you not true? I just told my daddy, I said, I don't want to be in the world. I said, I don't want to be in the world. I said, I don't want to be in the world. I said, I don't want to be in the world. And truly, one of them came that day. She was in our service that day, and I did not tell her anything. It was only me, my husband, and my spiritual parent, and the children. I'm going, I'm coming very soon. Going there, phone at a minimum, lie down. Going to poor multi mommy, elective. So, poor wa daddy. I started asking the man, let me go outside now. My son is outside. Let me go and see him. He said, I teach it. I teach it. It was after a year that. Secretly, one of them came back and tell me that, oh, you want more theater new? But when I test it, don't look. Who see how to see all around you? Kaka be she lembe de eje kimbosita mo feji de mo. And which me I did not know. They say it's God. They say you started speaking in tongues. Doctor, and he's a friend, so I will be telling him, doctor, let's speak in tongues. He said I was asking them so many questions, and me I did not know. In fact, till I came out, I was looking at the man. Because only got off on me. The man said, So, Emma got a fair money here. Ah. He did not talk after some time. And I said, And your wife mentioned it as if it's. Ah. But what am I saying? The spiritual covering. The reason why you need spiritual parents is because of the covering, not for anything. The recent one, my husband was in the hospital, I mean, in, in his office there. He said, he, this, don't, something just touched him and said, no. Mommy, like, where are you? Emma, we are in a lost hospital. The same thing happened to one of, of a pastor. You met that pastor with me. They gave birth to twins, but one died that day. Same day. But he was in a shadow of worship. I did not sleep over the night. Mommy, you are good or low. You are good or you are good again. I began to pray. I did not sleep over the night. And today we give God the glory. But the man came and said, Tita, one law, a yokon law, EKGT one usage. When we are talking about spiritual covering, only shake by long to po. And some of you are already being discouraged because some people are saying, Can you come? Said, Do you know the funniest thing? I will still say it online for pastor's wife. It pains pastor because when they are telling you nonsense about them, you refuse to come back and tell and you believe the others. 
in your wabe, ele wabe, oh sorry, the same person. Fine. He kept you while was sorry, the same person. And you did not even bother to go and ask. Who did your mate at home sorry? Your kilo shelle. Eh, but then when he kept you. And that's one thing with me. If you should tell me anything about her, I will go and tell her. Once I question by you, mommy. Eh, yeah, we respect it. He said, Ah, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind them. This is what happened. And we said to the issue. Number three, why do we need spiritual parenting? Okay, I think it's only two on that. Sorry. Now, let's answer this one. That will be the last point. How does God want you to relate with your spiritual parenting? I'll just take us on. Um, okay, let me take this one. What does God demand from those that are uh, rated as spiritual parents? What does God expect from them? What the Lord is expecting for us, from us, we spiritual parents, we pastors. God expects those of us that play the role of spiritual parents to be faithful in managing the destiny of those committed into our care. We are never to take advantage of the people. That In the book of Jeremiah 23, verse 1 to 4, it shows us that the major way to identify true spiritual parents is by faithful service. Check out where they have managed the people under their care. This is an eye-opener for us. Whatsoever you have, you have picked as your spiritual parent, you should know whether the person is taking care of you spiritually. If not, oh, it's your spiritual parent too. Are you getting my point? I only just want to show us that what does God demand from those that are rated as spiritual parents? Or what does God expect from them? God expects those of us that are, we pastors that play the role of spiritual parent to be faithful in managing the destiny of those committed into our care. We are never to take the advantage of them. Now we hear parents, uh, pastors raping this. This is not how God asks them to undo them. Taking money from them. I've seen several, they will tell them to go and sell their car. God said you should give me. It has never happened. And it will never happen. Once the meaning of that? It's not part of what the rules and the regulation pastors should follow. And if you are involved in all sorts, you better check back. More reverse. What kind of a, you are following somebody and they are, they are asking you to bring everything you have. <laughs> I could remember one of our brothers that came up and said, Papa, I made promise. At my first salary, I will come and you. And he's a fa family man. My husband said, God said you should come and drop all your, the first salary. What will you people be eating at home? And I say, Papa, why are you discouraging me? My husband said, it's not that I'm discouraging you. What are they going to feed on for the next one month? If you make vow, I am your spiritual father. I will help you to rearrange it. God will understand. He now say, how? He said, you, you will divide it into months. You will divide it into months so that the children and your wife will not suffer at all. How many pastors will do that? And that's the reason why we take him for granted here. We take him for granted because sometimes he will just be joking with us. And I used to say it to him that sometimes you just have to. He said, I don't want people to be afraid of me. I said, ah, hey, why, why misuse here? And that's what is happening. Now, let's now see how does God want you to relate with your spiritual parents? God, how does God want you to relate with your spiritual parents? God wants you to be sincere. Be sincere. Be sincere. Be sincere. But it's not of our business. It doesn't consign us. If you don't want us to get involved, the only thing we'll pray so that hey, if it's in your cobawa, Olua Shaju won't be. Olua Kenny be ton lock. At a lot, I won't get to check him or let Tonsi. My dear, come to our lava, but I don't know my gospel. I knew what you could only accident for me, Jack, my tea. We do that. We pray, but we know. At a bo, I'm more. Hari, Hari invite Ashe Bukwe, but I decide to find that Boni Kokonwa. How does God want you to relate with them? Be sincere. Be genuine. Mashi Rankin Pankin. But you know, so, there are so many of our sisters in those days when they are saying they are believing God. Don't go and sleep in their house, the husband, the, the brother's house. 
Motivation comes from Why are you sleeping in there? You will have relationship today. You go and sleep in the next two, next two days. Oti kolobe, oti long bebe. Koni ni ni usi mo na. Ah, and at the end of the mama mi oroko. Oti tu jam. Muni aja inle. Ojo juma le kolobe. Vele basi sare propose oti kolo. They think we are too overprotective. We are actually helping. Ti o bawa si testimony you will not be angry. You won't tell them what you have been doing at the back that you have been sleeping around. Share it on share you go. I share you to my bond church. I dare my wife. I will go where it is too too bad. We know, but you know involved, so we will be looking at you. And that's the reason why now God has been so faithful. If anything is happening, two of us, let's join our hands. Come out to come to talk about what. If it's the last one, yes, she. I recall one after twenty years in ministry because in those days I'm a mark for funny. Since that time, I told my husband, stop calling to anybody. Oh, yes, they will not come to you again. They will say, Papa's son is too much. So, be, and be trust, and be faith, truthful to them. Truthful. Be sincere. Be genuine. Be truthful to them. Today, we have a lot of spiritual children, spiritual children who play pranks with their spiritual parents. There is no how what they carry will flow to you if there is no spirit-to-spirit -spirit connection with them. Open up sincerely to them and let them help you. Stop hiding from your spiritual parent. Whoever wants spiritual parent, parent to favor him or her should decide to practice sincerity. Be sincere. I can remember with the word they, they are being committed to my hands, ever since those people took up their decision, Somebody that was there when they were discussing came to me and said, Mama, I want my church in your bank. But she saw from me, Mommy, I'm not worried about you. She now said, Ah, who surprised you? I get one thing, whatever she is a free word. Church, school, everywhere is a free word. Let them do their mind. I am free. The grandmother said, so you know, money momo. I get carries on Kosiwala. And that was how it happened. She now came a few days ago and said, Mommy, Mama, you are funny. And you are quiet. Money for what? We are in a free world. The spiritual aspect, I'm a shelo. But naturally, everybody is free. So don't think we don't know. Don't think we are not told. Don't think the Lord don't reveal. We make up. Yes, I was an SU before. A deeper life to be, to be precise. But when it comes to spiritual things, ah, God doesn't keep it. Oh. He reveals. He shows. So be genuine. If you want a spiritual parenting that will, that will look after you, be sincere. One of our, our brothers, and sister, they say, ah, We are not coming again. And if it's not your mom, at the Kenya, at the Kayamo, Jaja, while I could go to the other one, like by Jalu, Temeduni, we just laughed and said, Can you imagine? And they are praising God for what is not. Stop it. If you have a spiritual parent, be sincere, be genuine, open up. Because if not, the people outside will be saying, You church, you will not know. Bo Bani Simbi, my Simbi. O Shanka, and Shokoni, or Da. Be genuine, be focused. Don't forget where we started from. Demonic strategies to rob you of your destiny. No, part three says, children, obey your parents in the law. For this is right. This is right. The Lord revealed to me one day that one of our brothers is about to die. And when your wife is saying, what? They would die. He would die. He would die. I was afraid. Ah, I told my husband, I said, ah, die. Ike. Kill it on my die. Ah, he must not die. Yo. We started praying. Oh, Jehovah. Jehovah, have your way. Je By the time they will call up from where the person is, they say, ah, again, be. I saw it. We started praying. I don't know how God did it. Because Bobedikas shows that nothing which can solve the issues. But the Lord by himself, by the time they will go back and check, we just tell him, 
Go and get this. Go and share blood on it. Laura. Laura and come by. Laura and come by. We pray on phone. After two weeks, go back and check your PCV. Uh, I want to see, uh, in fact, she kill hello. Hello, Kokoro. Hello, Kini. Hello. I don't, I only call my parents in the law. And that was how the, the issue was like that. Be genuine. Be sincere. Let the Lord know what is happening to you. Don't stop all this that you are doing. Don't dodge. How will, how will the spiritual connection be? Click. The spiritual antenna will not pick when you are in danger. The Lord will grant unto us understanding. Shall we bow our heads this morning as we begin to talk to God? That Father, please, I'm sorry. I, I will, I, I'm sorry for all that I have done. Yes, I did not take spiritual parenting serious. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. Please have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy on me. Let your mercy prevail, Lord. In any way, I've done anything wrong. And the devil is robbing me of my destiny. Lord, I'm sorry. Have mercy on me, Jehovah. Cleanse me, Lord, if I've done anything wrong. And let's begin to ask God that God, Father, please give me the grace to be able to follow accordingly. In the name of Jesus. Lord, to honor my spiritual parent, to be able to do what is right. Please help me to be genuine. Help me to be sincere. Help me to be focused in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the glory, Father. We honor you because you are faithful. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Almighty Father, we thank you this morning.